Hi everyone. My name is Debashish and my colleague Anchit will be, we are having 15 minutes. Our objective is to kind of continue where Rebecca left. She talked about a lot about Gen AI, building faster applications, the dilemmas and the bottlenecks that are there. We'll of course not repeat them. We bring in the Google Cloud point of view. We will be talking about Kubernetes. We'll be talking about the few of the announcements, the things that we believe that developers and architects like you can leverage this and take things into production quickly. And I, I mean production quickly. And at the end of that, uh, Anshit would be taking a demo session, which again has something to something I believe will be very interesting for developers. And at the end, there are some goodies and other things that we'll be call, calling about, about the certificates and other things that Google is launching for developers like you. So very short time, let's get started. This is the first code commit of Kubernetes, June 6th. 2014, 10 years back, it's the 10th anniversary of Kubernetes. Wonderful moment. And this is the platform that has grown. 314,000 code commits has happened. 74,000 contributors have committed code here. What started as Borg inside Google today powers workloads for hundreds and thousands of organizations. And more than 7,800 organizations have contributed to the code. This is a wonderful moment. I thought to start with that. Kubernetes has evolved a lot from running stateless application, then it started moving into hosting stateful workloads, then uh, you are running hybrid cloud, edge computing, and today, it is also running the most demanding workloads for your AI stack. AI applications demand very little different thing. These are modern application. It definitely demands a serious amount of scalability requirement. Imagine you make a particular product, um, uh, product go live and it is popular, the amount that particular application has to scale is tremendous. So you need a platform that actually helps you scale that way. Cost and performance. Inferencing is expensive if you don't do it right. And you have to balance between uh, how, what is the performance you want to give to your end customer and how much you want to spend for it. Normally AI workloads are having a complex stack. It has number of uh, frameworks, it has number of libraries, and hosting them into an environment has its own challenges. And then security and compliance. Last but not the least, your data is your data. Your data should not leave your VPC environment and should not be used to train, up train other models. So with all these concerns, we have always seen organizations trying to kind of enhance their application with the latest of AI, Gen AI, and there is a tremendous pressure on um, engineering teams of what platform to use, and is the plat should they go ahead with the right platform. We believe that your container management platform can run your traditional workloads along with your demanding AI workloads. We believe that you can, you do not need to go ahead and reinvent the wheel and actually look at your container management platform to host all of this. We'll just quickly sneak peek into a few of the offerings and as I said, the new announcements that we believe would help you tremendously. The container management platform that Google offers has primarily two offerings. One is Cloud Run, which makes running containers very easy on cloud. You are a developer, you are not a container expert, you just want to write code and we provide you open source build packs which takes your code um, creates a container out of it and deploys it into Cloud Run. The Cloud Run is a serverless environment which brings up and brings down your application skills up and down as your traffic goes. With Langchain support on Cloud Run, uh, it has, you can see the continuous in involvement and improvement that is happening on Cloud Run. I'm sure many of you would run, uh, would know what Langchain is. Today, Cloud Run is one of the easiest and simplest way of hosting your Langchain application onto uh, uh, executing platform. Here is a quote from a founding engineer of Langchain. I'll just be very interesting to call it out. We researched alternatives and Cloud Run is the easiest and fastest way to get your applications running in production. 
Now, while we have been doing a lot of enhancements with um, CloudRun and others, there was one particular requirement that came in. There is an ask that while Langchain integration is there, but there is a challenge of integrating with various services of Google Cloud or other cloud providers, how you do the tooling around it. There is a new launch that we did in the next event uh, just a few weeks back. It is called the Cloud Run Application Canvas. This is backed by Gemini, and the objective of this particular tool is that you give your application requirement in natural language, and it can uh, paint your application for you. It is much easier, and then you can go ahead and take it forward, integrate with other services. It also integrated with services like uh, Fire, uh, Firebase Hosting, Vertex AI, Memory Store, and others. Imagine how, what is the pace of application development would be if you are uh, going to take this um, kind of route. And please watch out for this space. A lot of announcements are coming here. The next application platform, which is a very popular one, is the GKE environment, the Google Kubernetes engine. It is industry leading by scale. It has unmatched per price performance, and it is easy to use. This is primarily for while Cloud Run, as we mentioned, that you do not want to understand Kubernetes. You write your code. We have build packs, and it goes ahead and deploys. Kubernetes is the most way you can customize this particular Kubernetes environment, make your own environment, and host it on Google Cloud and run. It gives you unparalleled performance, unparalleled option of, um, of bin packing that is possible directly in the console and makes it much more cost optimized than many other cloud offering that is there. A few of the announcements, very interesting one. I think in the initial keynote, it was mentioned about GPUs, TPUs, LPUs. One of the recent launches that came about the TPUs that Google launched is the TPU V5P. You can use that particular processor with GKE itself. One quote from character.ai who calls out that how their training of the models became much faster with GKE and TPUs together. Not only TPUs, there was a new announcement, again, very interesting one. If you are using this heavy H100 GPUs, GKE and others support this A3 Mega processor. The A3 Mega is basically a next generation of instances with H100s that we provide. It provides 2x of networking performance between the nodes. When you're training large model, that is extremely important. So GKE not only has support for TPUs, CPUs, and the GPUs, and also the newest and the latest models that are coming in. One of the issues that you find when you are running large AI workloads on cloud is your images are large. It takes significant amount of time for the environment to load up. You know something called cold start. You have learned it from the Java days that if it's a big image, that is the imagine if you have a large model and it takes tremendous amount of time to load up. There's a new feature, very important one to note, uh, note is the container image preloading, which makes the cold start time literally reduce significantly around 29x times. Another very important one. Normally, you while you are running such applications, you keep your data in the object storage. Object storage, while it can scale and it is performing, but it doesn't have that amount of, not like a, not like a, um, a block storage that is there. So often, these workloads get into this latency of reads uh, when you are going and training a model. So again, extremely important feature that is released called GCS Fuse Reading Cache, which really uh, enhances the pace at which the read of these particular type of applications happen. I cannot, I'll hand over to uh, my colleague Anchit, and before that, uh, it would be unfair if I don't mention about Gemini. Gemini is the best in class model released by Google. It is a multimodal model, and that means it can do text, images, and video together. It doesn't do it separately. And you would have seen the benchmarks that Gemini and the releases of Gemini. Yeah. So I'll just take a moment to talk about something again, uh, which was spoken about uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the first keynote. 
you as a developer will experiment. And there is a nice offering that we get, which is called the Vertex AI Model Garden. It is a curated repository of Google's first party model, third party models, and open source models. And also we provide a tool called Auto Side by Side. You as a developer, can choose a model from Model Garden and compare them, whatever suits for you, and there's a tool built in for it. So you don't have to go ahead and research. You, you, it, it hosts models that are present, uh, uh, present there. So one quick snapshot of the foundation models that we have. Uh, we are calling out Gemini 1.0 uh, Pro. Gemini is in three buckets. The biggest model is called Ultra. The medium size is called Pro, and the other one is called, the, the smaller one is called the Nano. The models that are released and GA today are available on the first row. There's one open model I'm sure you would have heard about is, is called Gemma. This is a Gemma is a 2 billion and a 7 billion variant. And again, there is a lot of tooling like Collabs, like Kegel workbooks that are provided in the console itself. You can just go ahead and start using it and create the notebook and launch it and use it. There is a, uh, about code assists, you would have seen a large amount of uh, applications that are, uh, that are coming in to assist developers. My colleague Anchit will take a quick demo on it. And then I'll come back and talk about the new launch certificates which you can leverage. Yeah. Anchit. Hello everyone, I am Anchit. Um, I'm a customer engineer at Google. So um, quickly in the next four minutes, I'm gonna show you what Google is doing or basically how Google is trying to help uh, make a developer's life easier, right? How many of us are developers here? Quick raise of hands. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's I think this would be very much um, close to your heart. So imagine um, in your software development life cycle, right? What are some of the things you need to do when you're told to build an application? First, you would need to create an uh, um, infrastructure or architecture diagram of your application, right? App application architecture diagram, infrastructure ar architecture diagram, deciding what tools to use, am I right? So think you have already created an architecture diagram. You want to share it with your internal team. But before sharing it with your internal team, you want to get some more information of if it can be made better, right? You want to understand if there is something which can be better here, if you are missing um, anything, any security aspect, any HA aspect, et cetera, et cetera. So how would you do that? Simple, go to gemini.google.com, select the model. Go to gemini.google.com, select the model. Since it is multi-model, you can post an image, PDF, video, whatever, and ask basically, what does it think about it? Is there any enhancements which can be done? Yeah, so uh, it'll give you precise in context answer specific to your input. For example, here I have entered my uh, blog diagram, right? And it has told me what needs to be done, like in load balancing, in I should I should I include I should include monitoring, logging, I should have backup recovery done, or have I enabled SCC command center or not? Because it couldn't find SCC in the blog diagram, right? So this gives us a good uh, head start and uh, reduces a lot of time uh, when we are trying to uh, build it. Next, I have my application set, uh, sorry, I, I have my, my blog diagram set up. I have chosen Google Cloud to deploy. Next, what do I need to do? Write the code, right? So um, to write the code, what I'll do, I'll quickly go ahead, create, uh, open my favorite ID. Um, I like, which ID is this? Yeah, I like VS Code, and um, in VS Code, we have integrated uh, Gemini as a plugin. So see the po possibility of having an um, LLM integrated to your VS Code. Now, what I'm gonna do is, since uh, the time is less, I'll simply write a prompt to create a fast API for a service, which to get a customer-based, uh, sorry, uh, orders of a customer, right? So I simply ask Gemini to do it. And since it is directly integrated to the ID, I click on plus, I have the code here. Now, of course, might not be the best code in the world, but this is a good start instead of having a blank screen. Am I right? So you go ahead, see the code, um, debug it, um, and, and you run it. Imagine this code is not written by you, but it, you have inherited the code, which happens a lot of time. 
So what you need to do is, again, just select the function, click on the button, explain this. Right? It's going to explain it to you what this function does. Not just that, you have written the function, you want to do testing on it, right? Again, the next step, select the function, click on it, generate unit tests. So now your code is ready, your new unit test files are ready, you are testing it. Next thing is you want customers to use it or basically your stakeholders to use it. So what you need to do, you need to write a document on it. Am I right? And how many of us likes to write do writing documents of the code which we have written? <laughs> so again, I'll outsource this work to Gemini. I'll ask it to create the API documentation. Now, it knows what code I have written because it's already open in the console. It will give me in context document. It will give me the endpoints, get port, post port, whatever it is what the response is expected, what is the input is expected, output is expected, right? So one of your tedious tasks has been given it to Gemini. You're happy about it. Application done, deployed, testing done. So while testing, I mean testing not done, while testing you hit some errors. What would you do? You'll go through the logs, right? Since I'm using Google Cloud, I'll go to the logging console. I'll go to the logs explorer and I see tons of logs here. What would be the next? What would be the be my next step? Read each of the logs. Try to read the documentation. Understand what it is, or select the log. Ask AI to explain it. Not just this. It will explain me the log in context of the other metadata. I can also ask it to tell me the next uh, flow. I mean, how to rectify it. Imagine application deployed, all logs gone, uh, sorry, all uh, errors gone. My analytics is set up, my data is moving to my analytics platform, which is BigQuery. Now, how many of us like to write SQL queries? Okay, so I see a lot of people do like to write SQL queries, but still, um, it's, it's, it's a tedious task, right? Um, you want someone to see the table, you want to, uh, someone to understand the schema and what you can do is simply write the query in a natural language for example this is a table from this is a data set from stack overflow i'm simply asking it to list top 10 rows based on score from this table what is this table this is the table which i have opened on the left hand side so it knows knows the schema i have the query now i insert it hopefully it runs it's not giving me error, so it did run. Next, imagine if you have inherited this. Again, select it, ask it to explain. If you see, this, everything is happening in context, right? So um, quickly, uh, I, I just went through uh, um, your, day, uh, your daily life, right? What you do and how Google is helping you simplify it by its tools, right? So, um, they're Thanks, welcoming Sanchit. you back. Thanks, Sanchit. I think you, you can give it a give it a try and look at Google Code Assist. Include it into your choice of editor. The most important part is there. I'll take one more minute if you can go to the next slide. So, in this particular event, uh, we are launching a few certificates. Very important. I'm sure you would have liked seeing all of these things, but something in your mind that how do I learn about it? Can I get some amount of accreditation for it? I think these are the few, these are the few slides. One more minute I'll take. I'm between the coffee break and this. So this is a on demand, uh, online program and certificate that Google has launched. Those are the, those are the uh, certificates that are uh, their Google Cloud Cybersecurity Certificate, Google Cloud Data Analytics Certificate, and Google Cloud AI Skill Batch Credentials. These are uh, made available free for higher ed students, government organization, non-profit works, uh, 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 work people at all. But my request is that please do go and visit the Google Cloud booth there, there, these are, there are multiple um, options of taking this for professionals like you. This is extremely valuable. My request is to go to the Google Cloud booth and see them. Thank you. That's all we had. <laughs>